you could win the title this weekend. Will you be keeping half an ear on what's going on at the Hibernian game? No, I, think I, I don't want to sound repetitive, but I think all season it's been about us. And what we have to do is go to a very tough place on Saturday. They're on a good run of form, a really good run of form, good result against Hibs. Last home game, so we're very conscious of that. So we, we've trained really well this week. But we need to go there to deliver performance, otherwise we'll get hurt. So we, the focus is very much on what we do. What happens away from us, we can't control. What we can control is our performance, hopefully. If, you, if, if results do go in your favour, um, this will be, I suppose, a combination of quite a long journey for everyone at this club. How much is the anticipation there for everybody here as you near the winning line? No, it's not, we spoke this morning at training and they have an opportunity. You know, today and Tuesday, they have an opportunity um, to take the club back to the top tier of Scottish football. And, and to be part of the team that's, uh, that's um, succeeded in doing that. So they're well aware of the significance. They know the, the expectation of the fans. They know the, um, the desire to get Rangers back to where it needs to be. So that's really important. So we recognise the opportunity. They've got to enjoy it. Enjoy it, but recognise you have a job to do. And the um, season doesn't end Saturday and Tuesday. We want to end really strongly. Don't want to limp over the line by two or three. We want to do it in a convincing manner. And there's more important games as well coming up later in the month. So the focus and, and the um, commitment has to be intact throughout the whole season. From your point of view, how much satisfaction will you take from what you've achieved, if you can do it this weekend? In what way? Well, just I suppose the fact that you've come in here this season, um, new to Scottish football, and the way in which you've done it, not just the fact that you, you, you might well achieve it this weekend, but the, the style in which you've done it. Too. Yeah, it's, not about, it's not about any one person, staff member or players, it's about us as a team working together. That's the important thing. And you, if you deviate from that message, then it, it just dilutes the quality of the message. So it's, it's key for us. It's um, David, myself, you know, you look at the work of Jim Stewart and Greg and the staff here, Steve Walker, the doc. Everyone's been involved in supporting the players. And the job of the staff has been to make the right environment, make the environment right, which is conducive to those boys delivering their performances. So everyone's responded really well. It's not, it's not about one individual, that's for sure. You talk about not wanting to limp over the line. Does that mean, presumably, you want it as soon as possible and perhaps in as much style as possible as well? I think it's, I don't know, no one wants to lose a game of football, that's for sure. We, we, we know the opportunity. We're not, it'd be foolish to say they're not two very important games. Saturday, we know is a tough test, but we've got the chance to go there and then set up Tuesday night in front of a packed tie box. That's really important to us. And we'd love to win it in front of our fans. We got the job done early, fantastic, but the job is to get the job done. That's the task, it is not to lose sight of the fact that um, we haven't won anything yet. And uh, Saturday will be undoubtedly a tough test, a tough challenge. Prepare well, deliver the performance. Now you've always been about sort of one game at a time, but it must be a nice prospect to be able to consider the league could be wrapped up and that allows you then to focus not only on the Petrofac, but the Scottish Cup as well. Yeah, the, the ideal scenario. The ideal scenario is the two results, the next two games go your way, you have a good performance in the Petrofac Cup final and obviously it leads into the, the semi-final game. That's, that's an ideal world. Fingers crossed that happens, but there's a lot of work to be done between now and then. And we, we know that Saturday, as I say from earlier, it's against a team in fine form. They're in good form. They live in performances. They're hard to beat on their own patch. Um, so we're, we'll recognise that and respond accordingly, I hope. Seen some comments from Martin Michael yesterday said he's hoped back for the old firm game. Is can you share anyone late in that? How, how realistic no, are Waggy, Waggy's working hard. What's important, as I said last week, it's really important that our specialists, the player, and uh, the outside specialists you know, liaise closely and work out and make sure it's the right thing for Martin. The worst thing in the world is to rush him back too early. Likewise, we don't want to hold him back when he's, when he's good to go. So it's about the communication being right, using the expertise within the three of them and hopefully making the right decision. But as soon as he's ready, Martin, Martin will figure. So I suppose like an old firm game with the size of it, the importance of it, it's not the type of game you want to put somebody in half cooked. They have to no, be 100%. Don't, don't forget, when a player's been out injured, it takes him time to regain his, his match fitness as well. It always makes me laugh when people think he's ready now to play. You know, Martin knows what he has work to do and to work out there in the training park with us as well. So we'll get the time and right. He's, um, he's been first class in, in his attitude through rehab. That won't change, I'm sure. As soon as he's ready, yeah, he'll get his chance. I'm not sure if you watched the Scotland game the other night, but the Hamden surface looked to be a bit um, below its best again. Obviously, two big games come up there. Is, is that any concern for you? I know Scott Brains yes. made some comments. I saw Scott's comments overnight, and um, I think I mirrored the same a few weeks back. It, it takes time for any surface to bed in. It absolutely takes time for any surface. So there's, there's, no, there's no shortcuts in that respect. But I think it's important that for your national stadium, you have a, you have a high-quality surface. Really important. So um, it'd be interesting to see how the, how the um, pitch performs with Petrofac. Is the biggest problem having a team playing on it almost week in, week out? 
I think it is. That's an obvious problem is, is week in, week out and, and the weather and, and the batting that pitches take. I think also it's the quality of the pitch. What is being laid down there? Is it the highest quality pitch available? Is it being maintained to the highest quality? There's no detriment or disrespect to a ground, a ground staff, but is it the best quality pitch? And again, I refer back to the quality of product and you look at some of the pitches being produced down south and I understand I'm not naive to the, the financial input, the financial backing that they have, but the quality of the playing surface is vitally important and it sends a message out about the product of the game in Scotland as well. So you hope very much that the National Stadium mirrors a very strong association, I hope. So you would rather have a National Stadium that no one else is playing on? No, that's, that's not my business at all. I don't understand why that, but that's not my business, far from it. But I think it's important for Scottish football that when you see games of, of the Gallery of Cup finals and semi-finals and whatever else being played, you hope very much that the service is of the right quality. And obviously there'll be a, a semi-final on the day before your game, so that could be something else as well. Let's see how we, um, let's see how we fare. Some former Old Firm managers that have said in the past week that nothing will prepare you for your, your first taste of an Old Firm game. Do you, do you go along with that? No, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure, as uh, I know where they're coming from, that um, certain managers will have been misquoted or taken out of, out of context, I'm sure, as happens occasionally. But uh, I think you can't turn around and say you're ready for it. But I'm also somewhat bemused by people that say you won't be able to deal with it. The fact is we've, we've dealt with it all season. It's another game of football. We understand the significance of it. It's a highly important game for the fans and it's a semi-final. I get, that. I get all of that. But the fact is it's another game of football. If you can't deal with it, don't be in the business. So my background has been one where we've been involved in many pressurised situations in and out of football. So if you can't deal with it, I shouldn't be doing the job. Simple as that. What can you do then to prepare for a game like that that you haven't been involved in it and, and some of your players haven't been what, is involved it, in? Is it louder? Is it noisier? Is it a bigger stadium? Is it a different size pitch? Are there more goals? Not being rude to you. It's another game of football. Nothing changes. Well, we have to make sure that our preparation's the same. We'll have the same training here. We'll have the same pre-match food. Everything, our timings, getting to the stadium, everything will be the same as normal. So our point of view is don't change that. It's worked for us all season. The players are comfortable with it. That won't change. Other than that, you walk out to a wall of noise. Fantastic. Enjoy the atmosphere. Revel in the atmosphere. But as, as opposed to being... Uh, uh, undeniable pressure and else. Just, just enjoy it. If not, don't be in the game. So I'm, I am bemused by, uh, by some of the comments, I've got to be honest. And Neil Adams also quoted as saying that he thought there was a, a lack of physicality in, in the Rangers side and Celtic would be too strong. What's your thoughts on that? As previous pundits, you know, they're all entitled to their opinion. Simple as that. So whatever Neil or anyone else may think, that's down to them. I'm not, I'm not going to criticise it. I've spoken before. It's a game of opinions and that's the beauty of the game. It, it um, incites so much opinion. But the fact is we're very confident in, in our side and how we've prepared this season, how we've fared this season, and our physicality is, in our minds is in question. Big, sorry, big rollers, obviously, they're, they're going great guns at the moment as well, and they've got quite a bit to play for, so it could be quite a test for you. Yeah, I said, I said earlier, first question, I think it'll be a really tough test. They're in form, their confidence will be high, they have good quality, they're well managed, it's a tough place to go to. So all of these factors, we're well aware of it. Our job, as with the semi-final, as with the Petrofac, is to make sure we prepare well, and, and we will do. How's your team looking? It's looking very good this morning. Uh, now we're fine, we're fit. Uh, Billy and Barry have come back from under 21s. Billy had a, an upset stomach, which I'm um, pleased to say is all clearing up. So we'll have a, a full squad to choose from. Gideon's fit and well. So um, we're back to normal numbers.